pirate in his boat. This is episode four. Uh, we have a special guest. My first mate here is uh, with us today. She's going to be working on the engine. Hello. Yep, and of course John and Jessica behind the camera. Well, we got a lot of work to do. We've been showing off a lot of the equipment we've been getting and inspecting the sails, but today, just plain old work. So, I guess we should get to it, guys, huh? Get to it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we're at the top of the boat here because we got another big operation going on. We're going to be trying to pull the engine, the old rusted out diesel engine, out of the uh, area here. And we're going to have to use some pulleys to pull it out. I got uh, my first mate. Cindy Hi. down there. Hi. She's going to be putting most of that stuff on. And me and John are going to be uh, trying to use these boards with some uh, pulleys to pull it out. So let's, let's see what we can do here, John. Oh. Here. All right. Oh, a lot of here. Oh. <laughs> can you get the strap around the engine? Oh, boy. <laughs> that was why I wanted you to come in here and take a look. If you can get it around the engine. If you can't, we'll just go some ropes. We got the engine out of the uh, place on um, the holders it was on, and we got it out this far. This engine is very, very heavy. And after talking it with my crew, we decided that we we're just going to prop it up here safely 
and what we're doing is we're going to get uh, some WD-40 and uh, pullers and we're just going to disassemble this engine almost completely because frankly it is just too heavy to pull straight out without a crane and even then I don't even know if it can make it through the door but uh, with a lot of heavy work from my assistants and my camera person there we were able to get it out this far and uh, if you try moving one of these diesel engines be safe these suckers are heavy well we got it propped up we're gonna have to look at maybe getting uh, some pullers and stuff so we're gonna be taking a trip we're to doing some more of the uh, general work we got grinding some more grinding to do which is a very time-consuming part of this renovation also me and John are gonna work on the engine today and we're gonna see if we can take more parts off of it now there's two ways to get an old diesel engine out of a boat like this. One is to call a crane, which we said before we don't have, or to take it apart and take it out in pieces. We've been working on that. The engine can be very heavy and I believe we have some shots of that, so you'll believe us. Well, I guess it's time to start. Before we get started, you may notice we have some new equipment here and uh, I wanted to discuss that and some of the safety factors involved with grinding off paints, particularly older paints, and uh, doing coatings on the boat. One thing you'll notice right offhand is that we have a scaffold here. Me and John put it together. It makes it a lot easier to do our work on the boat, but you gotta follow the instructions, and whenever you're actually working on it, you gotta be sure to put on the wheel locks. So you got some wheel locks down there. Next thing is, I found out while I was uh, grinding off the paint that it was an older paint that irritates the skin and that out the hard way. They don't usually have too many paints like that anymore. But for my safety, I'm going to be wearing long sleeves when I do the grinding. Also on that same note, remember I told you earlier about a special type of filter for painting and stuff? Here it is. This one has separate filters on the side. This is good for grinding dust, but more importantly, what we're going to be doing later, but not during this episode, is uh, we're going to be painting and putting on coatings that have fumes. This will protect it. So we each got one. Also, John's got his over there. So uh, we're both protected. Well, time to start grinding. Before we start grinding here, I wanted to show you some of the stuff we found out when we uh, we're doing some earlier grinding. Okay, uh, we know about the fasteners here that we are going to either pull out or grind down from the uh, rub rail, but we also see there's some other fasteners here that we're probably either going to have to remove. We'll take a look at them because I don't think they're on the deck because the deck's up here. So we're going to have to find out what they're screwed into and we're going to take a look at that. Uh, grinding itself is kind of nasty business, but uh, we're going to be using the proper safety gear. Here John, hold this man. But once we get the grinding now, we're also going to be doing a lot more work with the boat. I mean with the boat motor. Which still has to be removed. <laughs> this may seem like a lot of uh, unnecessary work, but trust me. You want to have your lungs left. After this job, you're going to need to do it. There it is. There's the proper safety gear. John, you got that? Okay. We're going to tight. Let's get driving. 